What's up, Cardano fam? Luxide here. Hope you're having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Hopefully you're uh, relaxing, enjoying the sun. You know, I don't have sun. I got rain. But, you know, what can you do? Mother Nature, right? <laughs> so, so the operator of this staking pool, Bloom, okay, has explained why despite game theory flaws, Cardano's proof of stake design is objectively better than Ethereum's proof of stake design. Okay, so they're both obviously proof of stake. Now, why... Why does he say this? Well, if you're not familiar, um, Cardano is delegated proof of stake while Ethereum is just regular proof of stake. So what does this mean? Well, if you, hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead, hit that, hit that subscribe button. There's my little plug right there. Now, delegated proof of stake, basically you're not required to set up like your own validator or node or anything like that if you don't know what you're doing. So like me, for example, I'd have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to that. So you can essentially delegate your coins to their staking pool and they can basically do everything for you and you can earn rewards from that. Basically your portion of whatever their their pool is, okay? However many you know transactions they're verifying, all that sort of stuff, okay? Now, Ethereum on the other hand, you have to have at least 32 Ethereum you have to run your own node, all this sort of stuff. Okay, so delegated proof of stake versus just regular proof of stake. Now, there's a few other things here too. So Cardano, you can actually um, stake directly from your wallet. You don't actually have to send it to the smart contract or anything like that. Whereas on Ethereum, you have to send it. So obviously in sending to a smart contract, there's obviously the chance of it getting hacked, right? Now, um, at the same time, your Ethereum is locked up until the the Shahai upgrade, which I don't know when that is, uh, but Cardano stakers can obviously, they can withdraw their rewards or stake at any time. So there's there's obviously that as well. Now, there's something called slashing in Ethereum too, which Cardano doesn't have it. And just, you know, the sound of the word slashing just doesn't, doesn't sound very good, right? So <laughs> we just... So basically they can they can strip the full 32 ethereum that you need in order to uh in order to stake. So so yeah, so that's kind of the differences between the two. You guys may have known this already, but um I didn't to be honest with you. Cuz I had never really paid much attention to the Cardano staking pools, but um you know, obviously there's a risk if you're doing, you know, stuff from exchanges, that's a whole other story. Now I know we've talked multiple times about um we've talked about when if the Ethereum merge happens, which is going to be this month, at least as as of what they say right now, it's going to be this month. Um, there, if that doesn't do what people are hoping it's going to do, there may be this kind of exodus from uh, from Ethereum, and you know we may see this spillover of people from um, Ethereum over to Cardano, because people are always looking for newer, faster, better technology, and as of right now, Cardano provides that for people. And there's going to be a lot of people that, that don't know that yet, that may be making that switch. Um, I mean, obviously if a bunch of people leave Ethereum, drop, dump their Ethereum, you know, price of Ethereum is going to drop, which will help with gas fees there. But you know, it's kind of a whole other story. Um, it's going to be an interesting, interesting, probably end last quarter of the year. Okay. It's going to be very, very interesting to watch, see how it all plays out. Obviously tons of more information is going to be coming. We're all anticipating these launches. They're going to happen this month. So let's make sure we pay attention, see how things go. Uh, if you haven't already, again, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell. And that way you'll know when the content goes live. Appreciate you guys taking time out of your uh, day to watch this video. Um, as always, I appreciate all the support you guys give me. I love making content. So plan to keep doing it uh, a lot. <laughs> as you know, we love Cardano. So we keep reporting on it every day as much as we can. So hope you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Don't uh, don't be working too hard. Stay safe out there. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.